In Illinois, IDOT is responsible for inspecting and maintaining vehicle bridges, but when it comes to pedestrian bridges, well, it's a different story. In most cases, that responsibility falls to a local government agency. For instance, the two pedestrian bridges over Highway 51 near SIU are under the university's jurisdiction. The bridge behind me, even though we use it primarily for pedestrian, is actually built to handle vehicular traffic, and this bridge can actually support a fire truck if it needed to to go back and forth. Brad Dillard's office is in charge of maintaining those pedestrian bridges. He says the school follows federal guidelines inspecting the bridges every two years. They also do visual inspections every six months. This bridge is in excellent shape and the bridge uh, to the uh, south of the university there that was built in 1986, that's in, in uh, good shape also. My facility staff uh, keep a close eye on them and, and obviously if a problem develops with a bridge like this, it's very slow in developing. You know, there's nothing that's dramatic that's going to happen overnight with them. Another pedestrian bridge is located in Mount Vernon near Casey Junior High. We obtained the most recent inspection report, a visual inspection from January. As these photos show, the bridge has several cracks throughout its staircases. Some of the railing is falling apart, and it could use a new coat of paint to keep the steel from corroding. But inspectors rated the overall structural condition as satisfactory. Brandon Richard, News 3.